friends and welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Callie Bransford. and today's video actually started out as a completely different video. I was actually filming like a Dollar Tree kitchen storage video and that video is still coming. But as I started to delve into my pantry, which isn't actually a pantry, it's just like two cupboards, but tomato, tomato. Anyways, as I started to delve in, I realized that it was extremely messy. <music> And I started using some Dollar Tree storage items to completely make over my pantry. And I am so excited for you guys to see the after of this mess because it came out so, so good using a ton of products from the Dollar Tree. So I figured I'd bring you guys along as I did this pantry makeover and share with you some of my best pantry organization ideas and tips to hopefully help you organize in your pantry slash like cupboards of food, if that's what you have like me. So let's jump into this. <laughs> Okay, step number one is to get everything cleared out. All good organization starts with getting everything out so you can take a true account of what you have and be more intentional putting it away where it goes. Clearing out my cabinets and obviously taking this chance to give everything a good wipe down, get it nice and clean. And then step two is inventory. I'm going to take an inventory of everything that I have in my pantry. And I'm actually using this pantry checklist that's part of my free meal planning printable. And I'll link that free printable down below. Um, but I'm just gonna take a quick stock of what I've got and I'll show you later where I store this and how I use it for meal prepping. Okay, step number three is we're gonna plan things out. I love using organizing as a chance to decide if I really have like the best setup. Sometimes the smallest change, like moving a shelf up a little bit or moving a shelf down a little bit can completely change a space and make it so much more functional for you and for the use of the space. So I decided to move the top shelf up and use it with these gold wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna store some of my quick grab items in here like snacks, breads, nuts, the things that we grab a lot. What I'm really trying to think about is using some of our most most used items and making them super accessible. This will not only make them really easy to find when I'm looking for them, but I also find that they're much more likely to go back to the same spot they're supposed to go back to when I'm putting things away. I also have these little Dollar Tree chalkboard clips and these work perfect. They clip right onto the wire baskets and I think these look so cute. I love these gold wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. Not only do they look really, really nice, which is certainly a plus, but I also find them super functional. Moving down to the next shelf, we are going to start getting cohesive. I'm going to move a ton of my commonly used food items into food canisters. Now, most of the food canisters I have, a lot of them are from the Dollar Tree. I also have some from Walmart as well. The Walmart ones are a little more expensive. You spend between two and $4, but I do find that you usually can find more in stock and store. Dollar Tree sometimes is picked over, and right now in DollarTree.com, a lot of their food canisters are sold out. Also, you can often get better variety in um, sizes. So personally, I shop at Dollar Tree and then what I can't find, I go over to Walmart and sort of fill in the spots. Now I'm moving a lot of my commonly used products out of the bags and um, boxes and into canisters. I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, in general, canisters are better for storing than the boxes and bags that food come in because the boxes and bags that food come in tend to sort of like fall apart, they crumble, they topple over, and they just make your pantry a mess. And in general, it just makes it harder to find what you're looking for. Two, I find that canisters give consistency. This just means that kind of everything looks the same, which obviously is very visually appealing, which is super nice, but I also find that subconsciously, when things are cohesive and visually appealing, we are more likely to try to keep them that way. When things are messy and cluttered and disorganized, we might not even think twice about just like throwing another bag of chips on there, like and adding to the mess. But when things are sort of organized and cohesive and just so, we tend to be much more likely to put things back where they're supposed to go or even just subconsciously like take a second to think about putting things back in an organized fashion. Brie, I like using these clear canisters because in general it makes it really easy to find what you're looking for at a quick glance because it is clear and you can quickly see what's in it. And the fourth thing that I like is that canisters tend to be airtight so they tend to help with the longevity of our food. So I'm just transferring a ton of my food out of boxes and bags and putting them into canisters. I'm obviously focusing on my most used food. If I have something that I maybe bought like one time or isn't an item that I use a lot, it's not gonna be worth giving it its own canister. And I'll show you a little bit later in this video how I dedicate a spot for these pantry items. Step number four, we're going to label. Of course, if you've been around Buffer's Coffee for more than like a video, you know I'm gonna label. Dollar Tree has tons of label options. I love these removable ones because if you're labeling something you think you might switch out down the road, it makes it really easy to switch it out. But since I'm doing pretty much all items 
items that I use on a daily or weekly basis. I'm just going to use these gold labels, which not only match my new gold wire baskets very nicely, but just in general are gonna give a nice cohesive look. Step number five, we're just gonna move things around till we get it just perfect. I'm working through the entire pantry, clearing things out, labeling, moving the canisters, and in general, getting things more organized. Sometimes it takes moving things around a couple of times to find the arrangement that makes sense for you, and that's totally fine. Just remember, in general, you wanna focus on putting your most used items at the easiest location. So for me, since my cupboards are on the floor, this means using the top two shelves. If you have a pantry, you wanna focus on those shelves that are at eye level. Another product I'm using here that I love is these um, under the shelf baskets. They work great in places where you have a lot of vertical space to give you a little extra storage area. I'm using them for my dried fruits here. They're just a really great little like trick for any cupboards that you have, like I said, they have tons of vertical space. Okay, so eventually you're gonna get to a place where you're maybe like 80% organized, and then you kind of just have some like random leftover stuff that hasn't found a spot. This is like random condiments, maybe some leftover flour that didn't make its way into a canister, just like random odds and ends that really don't have a place. So I do still try to organize things by type. I have two cabinets, one side is my baking stuff, the other side is my more dry goods and snacks. So I'm starting there by just organizing into those categories. Then if I can organize items even further, I will, like I have these random seasoning packets, I have condiments here, and then over here I have some cooking oils. And then I'm gonna use some of my bottom more shelves to store this stuff, and I love using the Dollar Tree locker bins to help me organize some of this miscellaneous stuff. I can store like items in this bin. Like in this one, I'm doing extra cooking oils and jars like syrup and honey. It just keeps all these items together, but also organized. I also picked up these shelf risers from the Dollar Tree, and I love these to just give a little bit of extra storage space to spaces that are vertically really high. And I'm using this to store some of my less used items on my bottom shelf. And our final step is just the finishing touches. And I'm actually going to be attaching my pantry checklist right inside the pantry door to help keep on top of my pantry inventory. So a little trick that I love using that you may have seen me do before is I just love taking clothespins with a command strip to create a really quick little place to clip papers. You can even get Dollar Tree versions of these command strips, which work really great. I just happen to have some of the command strips laying around. So I'm adding one for my pantry inventory, as well as a few sheets for my meal planner. So I'm ready to meal plan when the time comes. It just makes it easy and accessible, and it's gonna make it a lot quicker for me to do pantry, inventory, and make my grocery lists. Again, these are printables that I've created. You can download them completely for free on my website, so I will put a link for that down below if you wanna get my meal planning like a pro free printable. And then the only step that's left is the big reveal. I am so freaking happy with how this came out. I don't know if any other organization project that I've done recently has given me as much joy as this one does. And I think some of it is just because I open my pantry doors so much, like literally endless times throughout the day. And it would constantly give me anxiety because it was so disorganized. And now every time I open it, it's like, ah, it's so pretty and beautiful and organized. And I know it'll be so much easier to keep it this way because it's sort of set up in a really functional, intentional way. And I just love that I was able to do pretty much all of it from the Dollar Tree with a few extra add-ons that weren't too expensive. But that does it for my sort of impromptu Dollar Tree pantry makeover. As always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I will link that meal planning video that I talked about right here if you wanna know my meal planning secrets. And if this is your first time landing on my channel, I hope that you will subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.